sneaking out back again this week. This week we have another new one for you. This is called a Linux OS. Now, do you remember millions of years ago there was something called Peanut Linux? Well, then it became a Linux a good couple of years ago, and I'll do a video on it then. That was ooh, a good couple of years ago. If you go back through some of the old videos, you'll find it in ooh, at least two or three years ago. And there it is. Anyway, as you can see, my audio is flashing up here in the corner. Can you see again? La 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 la. That's me there. Because the microphone is doing the workings. Okay, thank you very much. Anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, a Linux. Yes. Right. Last time I looked at it, it was okay. Yeah, it was all right. Debian base. Old school KDE. Doing what it says on the teenage. Yes, doing what it says on the teenage. Yes, yeah, so that's all right. I thought I'd give you a quick look around and see what you think. Now, I have come up with a couple of problems. Yeah, a couple. Yes. Number one being, it can't find my Ethernet card. No. It cannot find my network card, and so I cannot connect to the internet, which is a bit of a bummer. And it's a long old way to do it anyway. I'll show you if we go to the how-to, okay? Go to the how-to, and I'll just quickly show you this first. It doesn't do automatically, which they really, really need to change, really. They really need to find, at least if you've got a network card, to do it automatic, okay? So if you're listening, guys, please do that. And you're supposed to run this uh, thing here called Kidizuda. And it should work. But unfortunately, no, it won't enable my network card. At all. Well, it can't actually find it. It says here, uh, enable network card, and it just won't have it. So, yeah, that was a bit of a bummer. So, I can't actually show you any stuff like that on the internet, but I can show you the basic distro as it is. Because it may actually work for you. Maybe just me it's not working for, okay? So, anyway, back to the thing. Old school KDE. Some of you are going to love this. You're going to want it. You're going to marry it, and stuff like that. And you get loads and loads of stuff here, okay? So under editors, you get Kwrite, Kedit, Kate, oh, blimey, Midnight Commander is also there, Vi and Vim. Oh, Vim Tutor even. Under games. Well, you don't actually get many games, you just get a couple. Well, I'm not really worried about games. You can get them yourself, no big deal, just really, when you think about it. Under graphics, can you see how many we've got here? But it's not just graphics, it also has all the fax stuff in as well. So we've got the fax viewer, which is fax viewer, which is Kfax view. You've got Critter for painting, imaging, blah, 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 painting and image editing, K Snapshot, K Paint, a DVI viewer, okay, so which is KDVI, yeah, got K's in here again. Then we've got the Quick Show, then we've got K View and K PDF for PDF viewing and stuff like that, of course. K Ghost for seeing all those ghosties in your house. Color Paint, which is K again. Porovim Modular, which is a K-Pov Modular, Scan OTR program, and there's more applications here. Color Chooser, Color Palette, Fax Viewer, Icon Editor. I could go on, the list is enormous. This is the other thing about the old school stuff. Now, the, the uh, ISO comes in at around about 1.4 gigs, so that's not exactly small, but hey, who cares? But under the internet, if I could get it working, it would be KTorrent, Grufb, the KDE group was it. Wi-Fi driver, blah, 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 blah. I should really put a dongle in just to do that way. But you know what? I can't be bothered. It's got too much to do. Firefox is your web browser here of choice. But Conqueror is also here, by the way. Copet for messaging. You've got KPPP for your dial-up tools. See, even though it says internet, it just includes lots of it. It should be in system as well. Because it's the old school. KML for your mail. Blah, blah, blah. Aggregators down there. KRDCs here. And another Conqueror web browser. And the more applications. Loads. The mouse ticker and stuff like that. And mail alert. Under multimedia, you get the real audio player. Blimey, I thought I updated it. Well, it's there, it's there. Just open it just for a laugh and see what happens. Oh. Comes up as KM player, okay? Not the real audio player. But hey, I can live with that. Okay, next. Where are we? Oh, yeah, might be just still. K3B for burning, which is probably the best one out there for Linux, in my personal opinion. You've got Jack for music player, recording tool, which is KRUK. Uh, sound mixer was K mix, k k k k k k k lots of K's, and some other bits and bobs there, and this karaoke thing called K mid. Under office, okay, K word, K spread, K presenter, K address, and K ticks, and K vote, and K organizer, and K thesaurus, and Cougar designer. Okay, there's no LibreOffice here. Oh no, it's all K K K K K K K K. If you like K, okay. but they say they do what it says on the tin, they get the job done. I'll open K word up for you. And we'll just use this template for blank document, yeah? There you go. Open it full screen. It does what it says on the tinnage, okay? It does get the work done. Maybe not as good as LibreOffice, but hey, who cares? You might do if you want to use it. I'll Linux, yeah. Right, under system. 
You get antivirus manager, which is clam. A partition manager, which is cape parted. Blah, blah. I'm going to miss some of these because they've been repeated in some of the other stuff, okay? I'd to go into more applications. File managers there. Tape backup, blah, blah, blah. So a helicopter just going to my house. You also get quite a few terminals there as well. If you go to A Linux apps, there's lots and lots of other stuff here for you to play with, okay? More editors, more games, more graphics. Gimpage is down there. Oh, so let's see if it works. Is it the one we like? Let's find out. Looks like old school Gimp. Oh, yeah. What do you mean, what? Yeah, this is what Gimp used to look like millions of years ago. So it says a re release. It might have done actually too much to it, really. But basically, it works, which is what you all want, isn't it, really? No, we don't image of the day, do we? Yeah, so it works. Comes up. Nice. We can do that. Close all tabs. Bye. Close you too. Bye. Okay, what next we got? Where was we? The Alinx app. Okay, if I go down to internet, there's quite a few other some bobs there, including the Lynx graphic browser and Lynx text browser. Under multimedia there, we get quite a few other bits and bobs. An MPEG player, the Org Vorbis player, the Shout and Icecast player, and the security, Claire Multivirus again, so I mean, repeat it in the menu again, but it, it happens. More terminals. I like terminals, yeah. Under utilities, we've got plenty there. Lovely, jubbly. And X ray six apps, we've got the new. Yeah, yeah. There's so much here for you to play with. If you can get your network working, it's bloody lovely. Right, go to the control centre. Bouncy, bouncy. And it's the old school KDE control centre. And some of you may love this. You may love it. So if I go to internet and network, and we go to, where are we? Network settings. Blah, 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 blah. I can't enable my Ethernet network device. Oh, no, it just won't let me do it, baby. No, they, they don't like me anymore. Oh, no. Also in this, you've got your KD components you can do stuff with. Your file manager, yeah, it's all there. Super duper. Connection preferences, your desktop's up there. And everything else you want to do with KDE. Old school, yeah. Got a nice little bar over the side here. Your CPU and your memory and my audio there as well. Blah, 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 and stuff like that. And you've got the moon and the sun there as well, which is lovely. I like it too. What's that? What have I left open? You click and find it. Oh, weather report. It's not actually working because I'm not in Canada. So I imagine it comes from Canada. Okay. Such a long time ago, I forgot, to be honest with you. Right, A Linux re released. I thought it was actually dead. Yeah, I really did. I thought it had gone and died on me. But no, it's still around and just been released again with some updates. Now, it may not, you may not like it because it's, it's old school, but old school. But older people may like it. Or you might be young and think, yeah, that's for me. I'm going to give that a go. If only, I'll say again, if only the network detection was automatic, it'd be even better and I could show you more. But unfortunately, it can't. So that's a bit of a bummer, really. So it's not a beta or anything, so I'm going to give it a score. And because it hasn't got no automatic network configuration and it can't see me network and I can't show you anything online, I can only give it 70%. Bit of a bummer. But I do like it, though. It's all right. A Linux. Nice. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.